So, what is object storage? I'm Brian Dane, a Principal Systems Engineer for EMC, specializing in software-defined storage here in beautiful Colorado, and I'm going to answer that question in a unique way in this video. This software-defined video, yes, software-defined video, is a supplement to an article I wrote on object storage, specifically EMC's Elastic Cloud Storage, and how you can plan for and implement a chargeback model using EMC's Viper SRM. Like I said, what is object storage? Object storage is the platform behind virtually all cloud storage solutions. It's a great platform for use cases like a global content repository, modern web scale applications, archive, big data analytics, Internet of Things, and so on. For a more detailed discussion of object storage, you can read my article or just Google what is object storage and you'll find some great articles out there. However, for this video, I'm going to show you what object storage is by showing you an easy way you can set up your own object storage account using EMC's ECS test drive in the cloud and how easy it is to connect to it and use it from any device anywhere in the world. Now, let me get my iPad and I'll show you how to do it. To register for your ECS test drive account, just Google ECS test drive or go right to portal.ecstestdrive.com, click on the register button in the upper right corner, fill out the form, and click submit. When you activate your account and log in, select credentials in the upper right corner, and you'll see your credentials for AWS S3, Atmos, Swift, and Sentara CAS. For this exercise, you need to record your AWS S3 endpoint, access key, and secret key. That's everything you need to connect from any application that supports the S3 API. The next step is to connect into your ECS test drive account and create a bucket. You'll need a bucket so you can store objects in it. So let's go over to my computer and use a tool called Cyberduck to connect in and create a bucket. Cyberduck is a simple graphical utility that allows you to manage your object storage. I've already installed it on my Windows machine, so I'm going to swap over to Cyberduck, and there it is. Now that I'm in Cyberduck, the first thing I need to do is launch a connection into ECS test drive. And I do that by coming up to Open Connection, and the first thing I do is change the protocol to S3. I also need to specify my credentials and the server name. The server name is object ecstestdrive.com I will provide my access key and I will provide my secret key. Click on the connect button and that's how easy it is to connect from Cyberduck up into ECS test drive. The next thing I need to do is create at least one bucket so I can store objects in that bucket. So to do that I come up to action and select new folder I'll give it a name for the folder or the bucket. Let's call it water. And now we have a water bucket. Let's create a couple more. I only need one, but I'm just going to create a couple more so you get the idea. Let's call this bucket rusty. And let's create a third one called milk. There we go. We now have three buckets in my ECS test drive instance. Now, let's travel to a totally different part of the world so I can show you how easy it is to access object storage from any device anywhere in the world. <sighs> Welcome to the Caribbean. I came all the way here to show you how you can access your cloud storage from anywhere in the world. I know, tough job. Just so you know, before I got on the airplane, I did two things. First, I shot a short video using my phone. Second, I found a free cloud storage management application in the Google Play Store called Synchronize Ultimate. I downloaded it and configured it on my phone. It allows me not only to manage the local storage within my phone, but storage in various popular cloud storage systems, including any cloud storage that supports S3, like ECS. So I took my ECS test drive credentials, configured them into Synchronize Ultimate, and launched a connection back up to ECS test drive from my phone. Now, I can store that video that I shot on my phone in ECS test drive. Let me show you. Here's Synchronize Ultimate. 
I'll go into my remote accounts and you'll see my connection for ECS test drive. Let's select it and I'll show you the configuration. I called it ECS test drive. When I scroll down, you'll see that I needed to specify the same three pieces of information that I received when I got my credentials for ECS test drive. That is, the endpoint server being object.ecstestdrive.com and my access key and secret key. I specified those here, saved it, and that created a connection into ECS test drive. Now, when I go into my file manager session, you'll see I have it configured to look at my internal phone storage as well as my ECS test drive storage. In fact, there are the three buckets that I created in ECS test drive. Let's go into the water bucket and you'll see it's empty. There are no files in there. Now, let's come over to my internal storage. We'll come down to my DSIM folder, my camera, and my video folder, and that's where my software-defined video is that I took with my phone. Let's select this video on my phone and copy it to the right tab. That will copy it over to ECS test drive. There, the copy is done. Let's select my ECS test drive tab, and there it is. My software-defined video is now in my water bucket in ECS test drive in the cloud. Let's go to a different location now and see if we can play this video using a different type of device. And here I am in Zurich. Wow, that was a long plane ride. Anyway, let's see if we can access that file on ECS test drive. This time, I'm going to use my iPad with another free application called Storage Made Easy, which allows you to consolidate data from multiple cloud storage accounts. Here it is. Let's go to the main menu, and since I have configured Storage Made Easy to connect to ECS test drive, I'm going to go right to my cloud files. And then select my ECS test drive provider and it shows me all my buckets. There's milk, rusty, and water buckets. Now I think I put my video in the water bucket, so let's select the water bucket, and there it is. Software defined video, it worked. By the way, you wanna see what's in the video? Let's check it out. Let's open the file. And play it. Want to see software defined video? Camera, green screen, lighting, voila, software defined video. Obviously, I didn't have to travel all the way around the world just to show you how object storage works, but it would not have been nearly as fun. So, if you came to this video from the link in my article, let me send you back there now. Oops. Oop, forget it. I'm sure you can find your way back to my article by yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video.